out. Happy the best undead of Europe, and perhaps the best player in the world against 1-0. The best undead of Asia. First against second place in the global ELO rankings. Are you boys ready? I sure am. I'm excited for this one. Let's get into our first map. Last Refuge, map number one. In this best of three, a little reminder, here in Ted Cup we play all maps on NetEase. It's not like in uh, Rejuvenation Cup, where we were switching back and forth between War 3 Champions and NetEase. It's all NetEase here for this tournament, so um, the Europeans definitely have quite the ping disadvantage. Something to be kept in mind. What is going on here? Happy with a ghoul build and a lich. That is his standard that he's been playing in Undead Mirror for at least a year. And 1-0... With the Enter build. Crypt Lord with Fast Fiends. What is this? And Happy is not scouting, by the way. The standard build you would be expecting is a Ted Fiend build. Which is very versatile. It works against everything more or less. But it has slight weaknesses against some builds. Like against expansion, for example. This is a build that nobody plays. Fast Fiend Crypt Lord. Didn't like Philbot a million years ago play this build? Yeah, in Meisterschaft from like Enter and stuff, we sometimes saw this build. And it always seemed like a bit of a meme. It never actually seemed good. Alright, 1 to 0 is gonna get scouted here. And now, Happy Notes. And this must be a surprise. Sees the Crypt Lord, sees the Fast Fiends. And the question is, is this gonna be an expansion or not? A player's forces are under attack. Doesn't seem like it is. We don't have a sixth Acolyte. But Happy doesn't know this. Very interesting. Thank you, by the way, Blatty. Six month resub. And also for Glory Heaven with a 41 month resub. Thank you. Of course, with the Crypto, you're gonna have a lot of little uh, units on the field early between Beetles and Skellies. Dark Ritual on the Ghoul doesn't want to give the experience away. Nova can also be very effective against lots of small units like this. It can feel a bit bad to just be nova summons, but uh, in the right spot, it's the right call. The tech for Happy is certainly quite a bit faster, right? Yes. Uh, not even that much, actually. Good items for the Crypt Lord. Bonus mana, bonus armor. And Happy, for the first time in a while, I feel like he looks a bit lost. Perhaps not knowing what to do right now. Crypto's gonna get a bit more experience right here. And with four fiends, we have a lot of single target focus potential. One fiend's gonna go down. The downside, of course, with playing the Crypto is you don't have Coil to heal the fiends. And they also don't have Aura, unholy, to help them uh, be more maneuverable. Forces are under attack. But three ghouls have fallen, and only one fiend went down so far. This looks pretty good for one to zero, doesn't it? Very interesting game. One to zero also always fascinating to watch. He's got his own ideas, his own strats. Alright, second fiend going down here though. I feel like Happy needed this one. As he is going to be down in levels by a bit. He's almost got the level 3 here. Very cool. Very, very cool. That's always the most interesting when in Mirror two different builds go up against each other. And especially here with his Crypt Lord, a very unusual build. This might just be a one-off. I don't think 1-0 is going to play this build every time now. I think this is kind of a, 
a surprise factor build. The thing is, the Cryptor does actually scale pretty well into the late game. If you get him to level 4 or 5 in Fiend Mirror, he is crazy good with Impale. He does have the downside, though, that the DK is going to be underleveled, oftentimes. But if this game goes super late, and we get like 5, 4, 3 heroes, and that's a big if, of course. This strategy is crazy good. Crazy good. Incredible late game potential. And on LR, there's a lot of creeps available to try to take that late game. Get to that late game. Alright. One fiend is gonna go down here. So that's the third fiend. And that is definitely painful. Fiends, not very cheap, obviously. The DK comes in, he's gonna be able to save that one fiend over here. Ooh. This one almost ran to the creeps. Oh, and the call is too late. Mistake by 1 to 0, the DK was too far away from the Fiend. That's a big moment. The big mana potion over here for 1 to 0. And he's close to level 4. A player's forces are under attack. But with those two fiends going down, I think if this other fiend had been saved here, I think Watazir would have been in a decent spot. But with two fiends going down there, with a DK on the other side coming out, that was very painful. Level 2, crucially important for both sides on the DK, the aura, as you guys probably know by now. Very, very, very good. Happy misses the coil. Of course, on high ping, it's a bit harder to do. And gets the last hit right there. Also gets the item. Ooh, big healing and big mana potion. Huge items for the Chinese. Happy's coming back from the main with the Lich. Takes some time as he doesn't have the boots. He's got the aura advantage right now. He should have Frenzy on the way, I guess. Yep. Trying to do the timing with the ghouls. While they're still fairly strong, before we'll be transitioning into fiends. 1 to 0. Oh, he's pretty broke right now. Doesn't have actually the gold for the Lich. Very good items for 1 to 0. Excellent items. Would love to see one of these rings on the DK. Thank you, W3History, aka Fishy, for the sub. Dark Ranger by Happy. So Happy's really strong right now. He's gonna get level 3 DK here, probably. He's got the level 3 Lich already. And the Dark Ranger level 1 is very good. Look at that crypt board. If he gets the Impale kill, that would be sick, but. No. Claws plus 12. Ooh, baby. Lich all of a sudden looking very strong. Rune Bracers also, wow. The items for 1 to 0 are incredible. This is like basically perfect items. I guess he's missing claws for the Lich. He would love to have some claws as well. But honestly, the rings, the Rune Bracers, the potions, this is all very good. A player's forces are under attack. Yeah, so Happy's pretty strong right now. A level 3 DK, good timing for him. Frenzy Ghoul's also pretty good right now. But the Dark Ranger will not scale as well as the rest of the heroes. DK, Lich, and Cryptord all get incredibly strong on high levels. Dark Ranger is okay. On level 3 with Black Arrow against Fiends, she's not bad, don't get me wrong. But she's not as strong as the rest. Alright, here we go. This is the first bad item, Book of the Dead. As there will be, of course, destroyers. Happy, not sure if he wants to take this fight. Between Nova and Impale, his ghouls could go down really quick. He's probably gonna try to bait a missed Impale by 
single-handedly moving the ghouls, microing them specifically. Impale? No impale! Wait, who got the last hit? Sorry, I missed that. I think it was happy with the Nova. And he got it again! This DK is just not getting level 3. That's a big problem. There's still some creeps left here. Happy using a lot of mana to get these last hits. But in the end, Wunch Zero does get level 3. Dude, this is not looking bad for Wunch Zero, is it? Alright, lots of destroyers for Happy. He's ready for the fight. Three destroyers in the air, impale, doesn't land too well, and the lich. Oh, almost dead right away! Whoo! Lich for happy in trouble as well. Potion! And TP shortly before the impale. That impale would have been his end, I guess. The destroyer, I think, by 1 to 0 was a bit too late. That's why the lich almost went down. The silence there. Uh, not dispelled, by the way. Oh yeah, and kite, uh, pipe, of course. I kind of uh, forgot to mention. In case you guys haven't heard, it's very good. I think you should put one ring on the lich. He's got three rings. One ring for each. I think this item distribution is not the best. Like, the crypto is naturally tanky. I think he just needs one ring and nothing else. The second ring and the rune bracer should either be... Like, one ring should definitely be on the lich. And then rune bracers either on DK or lich. Oh, that's also how 1 to 0 lost the lich against Soen, right? Were you guys here for uh, Rejuve Cup on Sunday? That's something that 1 to 0 could improve on. Is item distribution. But anyways. Happy with a bit of a supply lead. 66 supply for him. Level 4 on the Lich. 3 on the Dark Ranger, 3 on the DK. Oh, he's also got the 1 of the Wind. And a lot of destroyers. First Impale hits decently. Happy going for the statues right away with the destroyers. Interesting. They are, of course, the backbone for the sustain. And it seems like Wanted Zero is losing a lot at the beginning. Can't quite find these perfect Impales. Now one is lined up. And it was pretty good, but again, it wasn't quite perfect. There's still some ghouls in this fight. Uh, somehow. Oh, and 1 2 0 does take quite the beating here now. Happy. In the end, even if it doesn't look too good before, somehow he wins these fights, it seems. 59 supply for the Russian. Huge edge now in this fight. DK in trouble still. Yeah, as I said, this Cryptod is way overprotected. Cryptod doesn't need these many items. Not really the reason why 1 to 0 lost the fight. I think the issue was the silence hit the Crypt Lord and 1 to 0 wasn't quick enough with a dispel. Like, you need to have that first impact at the start of the fight right away. Ideally, hit all the ghouls, take him out quick, and then go for the fiends after, I guess. Happy showing off now with a bit of blocking towards the end. That's the DK falling and certainly game. Lich level 5. Too strong. GG, tap out, 1 to 0 with a cool plan. Interesting, rare build that he's displaying here. But Happy brings it home in the end. And I wonder what that's going to mean for the following games, what the build here is going to be. Honestly, I don't think the build was really the problem. The first big mistake was uh, losing the second fiend when the DK was out. That DK should have been in a better position to save the second fiend. And that one fiend kill, that one more fiend really makes quite the difference. Um, and I think he could have handled that him fight better. The impales a little too late and also not perfectly placed. Of course, it's very hard to place those impales perfectly. When the ghouls are running in with frenzy, you don't have much time.
And we're gonna try to get map two underway. Trying to figure out who's got the good colors. Oh my god, there's so many people in this lobby. Foggy is waiting for his opponent. He knows it's not going to be an easy game either way, whether it's happy or 1 to 0. All right, we got it figured out now. And we're ready for map number two, which is oftentimes called Happy's Hometown. Northern Isles has been Happy's favorite map for years now and loves playing it in almost every matchup, I, th I feel like. So let's get into map number two. God damn it. I forgot to remember who's who again. No, wait. Happy's yellow. Happy's yellow. So Happy's in the bottom right. Bottom left, I mean, of course. All right, there we go. Now I got it figured out finally. So, happy again with the same build. This is the build that he is completely sold on in Undead Mirror. Ghouls and Lich. And this time, 1-0 to zero going back to the standard. Ted Fiend build. Fast DK. Delayed Fiends. And a fast tech, a very fast tech. I'm still a big fan of having a Narrow Tower in front here. Especially against Lich aggression can be really good. But we don't see that here. So if the scout is revealed, then Happy knows already it's not a fast fiend build. But he won't know precisely whether it's a ghoul build or the Ted fiend opening. Happy, by the way, a bit greedy nowadays. He doesn't go for the Acolyte scout anymore. And he also doesn't seem to be aggressive with the Lich. That means that a fast expansion with Crypt Lord could be really good. But nobody's doing that anymore, apparently. There we see Happy gonna start off creeping first. DK running across the map, trying to steal some experience, but I don't think he's going to be in time. Acolyte is trying to buy time, but uh, not really going to work out too well. We're happy actually going to let this creep go to move on to the next camp. Oh, this is a big deal. This last hit, the Nova does 150 damage, is happy fast. Oh, he was mid animation. He almost got it. Dude. If Wonderzer doesn't get this last hit, it's actually a big disaster. Important last hit for the Chinese. A 
Slayer's forces are under Zero attack. pump faking the coil, is trying to bait Happy to use the Nova. Here on high ping for the Russian, securing these last hits, not so easy. Happy's ping here on Nettie's is around 150. It's a big disadvantage, of course. Level 2 now for the Lich, the items here for Happy, definitely not the best. But, he can sell them and buy better ones at the marketplace if he wants. A player's forces are under attack. Love to get a fast level three over here, and with a Nova, he gets the experience. A player's forces are under oh, attack. and a surround! Oh, one to zero. Asleep on the wheel right there. That was a big mistake. And he used the coil. This fiend is never gonna survive. That seemed like a waste. Ooh, rough early for one to zero. He must have been macroing in the main, maybe. That fiend was just standing there for like three seconds. Can't afford to make these mistakes against Happy. It's almost level 3 now. Oh boy. And the DK. Oh my god, look at the experience difference. It's a Naga second, by the way. Interesting. Oh, that Akali is level 3. Does he get it? Oh! Good deny. Oh my god. If one to zero only knew how important that deny was. But there's still one creep here. That could be level three for the Lich. I wonder if Happy's gonna remember this. Well, he actually is. He actually remembers that the creep's there. Smart boy. Buying the boots on the Lich, he sold the rings, of course. Rings in general good on tank heroes, but the Lich certainly not a tank hero. It's gonna be the ghouls that will be taking the damage. Oh boy, and that should be a TP forced. Happy sees the DK. Yep, TP out. Can he save the fiend at least? So yes. Big yikes of a game here for one two zero. This one is not going well. Naga goes down as well. <laughs> my oh my. DK stuck on level 1, boys. It's a tough time. If you're not an undead player, you don't quite understand how painful this is. Not having aura for so long. It makes everything so much worse. If he kills the DK here, the game's over. But with the statue around, I think the DK should be safe. Happy steals the last hit. And he's got the boots speedy enough to get away. Whew. In Rejuve Cup, it was a 4 0 for Happy. Game 1 started off fairly well for 1 2 0. But in the end, Happy is still bringing down the hammer. And uh, yeah. He's on his way to the next clean sheet victory. That will be six map wins in a row against 1 2 0. Which is something that nobody has managed in years. Maybe Lin. Maybe Lin did. Lin also 4 0'd him in the Reacher Cup. Alright, tier 3 finished. We got the orb. Frenzy should be coming. 
I'm, I think also a Dreadlord, right? Happy with the strat. Normally plays Dreadlord third, I believe. Ah, no, wait. He's going into Fiends. Sometimes he stays on Frenzy Ghouls and Gargs. Then he goes Dreadlord. But with a Fiend transition, that should be then a Dark Ranger joining soon. Oh. Eats the Ghoul for more mana. This Naga, by the way, looks very, very vulnerable. She cannot be coiled, of course. Eats another ghoul. And with that, the Naga is probably dead. One more coil. Oh, look at that Naga go! Happy miscalculates. Oh, Happy getting punished. But the Naga falls in the end. The boots! The boots on the Lich here have been wonderful. It's still four ghouls dying for a level one hero. I think that's actually a good trade for one, two, zero. All right. He's getting back in the saddle. But this Naga could be a liability this whole game. Oh, nice block from the Skelly. Happy lined it up. And if you play Naga, you need invul potions really badly. Really, really badly. But Happy has got center control. Slight supply lead only for Happy. But the experience also definitely in favor of the Russian. Gives the slippers to the Dark Ranger. I always appreciate that. Oh, look at that. Those boots go great with those socks. Dark Ranger is a lady of fashion. She appreciates this. Okay, again, eats the Nova. Lots of Novas have been used on this Death Knight. He's been having a chilly time, as is understandable on Northern Isles. Oh, which close level four, by the way. That's gonna be a lot of mana. Oh, the DK again, far forward. Ooh, almost going down. Oof, that was close. Lich in trouble now as well. Happy's gonna have to TP out. He used the coil aggressively to get the last hit. There was the opening to force the TP out, but I think it's a good TP. Happy got more experience. And he sells those heal wards. Every other race must be looking at that and going like, what? Selling heal wards? Heal wards are pretty good most of the time. But Undead already has statues, so they don't really need heal wards. Claws plus nine, wonderful find right here. Lich getting even stronger, he got level four. The DK is gonna get, oh my god, this is triple level up from this camp. Wow. This would be the perfect timing to force a fight right now for Happy, but he's on his side of the map, far away from the opponent. So he can't really, so we're just gonna creep up the map, the rest that we have. And I think that's pretty good for one to zero. Finally, he can get the levels that he needs. He's still only on level two in all his heroes. But he should be getting level three. On all of his heroes. Happy, perhaps a bit passive right now. Could have tried to play more aggressively. But I guess he's just satisfied. <laughs> Creeping on his side, he gets the Cloak of Flames. Which can be good. If the DK does manage to get to the front line. Which, uh, sometimes he doesn't though. Ranger solo creeping. Gonna get level 3 here as well. He's gonna have a lot of damage. Level 2 black arrow is 10 bonus damage. Added to the already plus 11 that she has. She doesn't have the best attack speed, the Dark Ranger, despite being an agi hero, but uh, those right clicks, when they do come out, do still hurt. Invo Potion. Did he buy a dust? Yes. Happy. Not forgetting about the dust. We're at 50 supply. 
One to zero. Oh, with a sticky expansion in the corner. Happy knows this camp's gone already. Happy somehow knows that one to zero is down here. How does he know? No clue. Using the TP. Kind of surprised about that. And that wasn't too bad for one to zero. Traded a fiend for a statue. Also took out a ghoul. Oh, happy only has one ghoul left. A player's forces are under attack. Not sure if that's gonna be enough. Oh, but he's gonna scout the corner. Happy is on top of everything. He's not gonna get blindsided here. Does he check it? He sure does. And here we go. Going into upkeep now. But there's still a window for 1 to 0 to win this. The Banshee tech, of course, is going to be extremely strong in the late game, but you need a decent amount of them. And Happy's going to have very few Banshees only. And again, Lumber is the problem. Happy's basically got no Lumber. And summons the Altar. Classic Happy move. It's a bit more Lumber, I guess. Alright, one to zero. If he can hold this expansion, this could be his ticket to victory. He's got a bit of a supply lead already, but Happy's got the better levels. By a bit. First Nova, it's the Fiends in the back. Dispel. And the Coil actually lands to save the Fiend. Heal scroll by Happy. Too late. The Ping punishing the Russian a little bit here. Second Fiend gonna go down as well. The Naga has the big invo potion. Man, that was an important find. Naga being protected at the moment. Dark Ranger eats a lot of damage right there, but she's got good armor. Getting healed up as well. Lots of invo potions being used. 1 to 0 is quickly running out of mana. So is Happy, by the way. And the Lich. Oh, goes down! Happy couldn't pull the TP in time. And 1 to 0 holds at the expansion. Happy has to run back with his tail tucked between his legs. Wonderful defense by 1 to 0. I think it was pretty visible that the ping definitely was a bit of a problem there for Happy. But that's how it goes. And Happy's gonna call it! GG! Wow! What a comeback by 1 to 0 after this horrible, horrible early game. He does do it in the end. Happy, not the perfect control. Definitely overcommitting to the Naga in that fight as well, I think. She had the big invo potion. I don't think you want to go for that kill. Missed some coils. But yeah, uh, the ping certainly was a factor there as well. But also strategically before that, Happy had a really good mid game, and I think he should have pushed his advantage. He had the level 3 heroes already. He could have run to the other side of the map, put pressure on the opponent, beat their camps away and maybe force even a favorable fight. All right, one to zero. Ties it up. And we are gonna go to Tight Hunters. For the decision, map three, who is going to win and face Foggy in the winner bracket final? I'm pretty sure Foggy would much prefer to play against 1 to 0. Of course, 1 to 0 himself, an excellent player, a world class player, but especially in the matchup against Night Elf, Happy looks to be a step ahead, at least.
what are we going to see this time? It's pretty clear that Happy is again going to play Lich Ghouls. This could be really genius now by 1 to 0 if he goes for the fast expo. Happy has shown twice that he doesn't scout at the moment, that he just goes for creeping. A fast expansion would be a super hard counter to this. But then again, you don't know if Happy is going to start switching it up now. All right, in we go. Top left, we got one to zero in the red. Bottom right, happy in the blue. And standard build again by one to zero. Ted Fiend build, slow transition into a strong late game. No fast expansion. Just a DK into fiends. With Lich and Ghouls on this map, you can creep really fast. You can take out these camps right away. Pick up a lot of damage on the Lich, potentially. If they meet again, I wonder if 1-0 is going to try to punish this build with a fast expo. Because a fast expo would be really strong against this, like, maybe even game winning. Of course, after this encounter here, they're probably going to study the replays. And they might meet again. Foggy is already up bracket final, but that doesn't mean that necessarily he'll be making it to the quarterfinals. It's going to be a question for later. Nice creep right here, 1 to 0. Pulls out the creep to make this just a little bit easier with the Acolyte. And yeah, Happy taking on quite the camp right away. I like the Skelly Scout as well, wants to figure out where the opponent is. Oh, ring again, wow. Item drops very unlucky here for Happy. This is like the third ring in a row. And thank you, Testy Test, for the 33 month resub. So both players trading level 3, level 2, I mean. He loves the haste. It's a decent item, but also not a great item. Happy's been really unlucky with these drops, it's actually crazy. A player's forces are under attack. Three rings and one gloves. Trying to get the ghoul. Can Happy save it somehow? I don't think so. The DK is gonna get punished. Oh, and of course Dark Ritual. Q2 on the way, 1 to 0. Faster with attack. Going for a Necropolis. We see this more and more nowadays. Necropolis instead of third ziggurat. It's only 75 more gold. Saves you some number. And of course you can remake the Acolytes. I like this a lot. If you can afford the time for the 40 supply capacity. This is really cool. Could really get my 1 to 0 so far, I'd say. Slowing down the Lich quite nicely. Got his level 2 already. A player's forces are under attack. Does not sell the ring here. Interesting. 
If Happy was left alone, he could creep really easy to level 3. This camp, as well as the turtles here, as well as this one, all pretty easy to do with the ghouls. Same for the merchants, so I think it's very smart for 1-0 here to be aggressive. It looks like he's gonna try to go for a Dark Ranger. Oh no, Naga again. Naga second, something that pretty much only 1-0 still does nowadays. Oh, he's gonna snipe the Magi right away with it, wow. And then he can run across to the other side and harass the creep over here. Oh, that would have been such a sick read, dude, imagine. But doesn't quite sniff it out that Happy's here. Gets a big invo potion, which again is great for the Naga. But now we got the Lich level 3. Picks up the boots as well. Makes the hero very scary. Tier 3 on the way. Slaughterhouse. And this way we expect Happy to go into a Fiend transition again. Oh, look at the Naga. Threw a lot of damage. And oh, you don't want to be forced into the Invo Potion already. This is such a great item for... It might be worth letting her die. Yeah, exactly. This Invo Potion is so sick in the late game. I think it's the better choice to just let her die right there. She's only level 1, she's, so she's going to be back very soon. Happy finds a big kill. Not only does he get the Naga, he also steals one of the creeps away. And he slows down the creeping of 1-2-0. Big move here by Happy as we're starting to move towards the mid game. Some of these gauntlets should definitely be on the Naga, I think. Oh! Do you see the last hit? No. 1 to 0 got the last hit here still. Lock against the DK. Use the Emo Potion! Alright, that Emo Potion is gone. So this Naga will not be protected unless she buys a new Emo Potion. Happy could get it though. Only one shop, of course, also on this map. Emo Potion is going to be ready in less than a minute. Triple gauntlets. Nice. This time Happy got the last hit though. Happy is now the one being aggressive. He's waiting for tier 3 to finish. Frenzy. Then quick level 2 uh, DK creep I would imagine. Oh, he's trying to snipe the item here. He's kind of a tanky boy though. The player's forces are under attack. I think Wonder Zero should put all of these gauntlets on Naga and Lich. I think the DK needs these gauntlets. Oh, this here one is very nice. Quite helpful for creeping the Gargantuan right here. Got it, of course, from the big Murloc. What's that Murloc called? I don't even know. Also, why are some Murlocs called Murlocs and some are called Murgles? Is this like a rival faction? Are the Murgles the enemies of the Murlocs? Questions over questions. We're getting ready for the first big fight. Tier 3 is finished, the heroes are out. The upgrades are coming in. Happy still continuing to creep. So is 1-2-0. They're splitting up the map pretty fairly. And the Nagas getting level 3. Fork Lightning and Nova will be really good against this Ghoul Flood. Happy needs a heal scroll, I think. Badly. Oh, look at that! 1 to 0 stole the heal scroll from the shop. Sick move. Happy could get it from the main. But you don't really think of that, I 
I believe. Okay, never mind. There's a second heal throw in the shop, so this doesn't really matter. Happy should get it. Yeah, there we go. Once there was thinking about an expansion again, but not this time. Happy checks earlier this time around. Dark Ranger again, got the socks boot combo. Edge gets to level two. And goes for Frost Armor right away. Frost Armor very good right now against Ghouls. Will be rather useless later on. The Rock Golem right here, of course, the big prize. Love the Nerok Tower, by the way. He stole it from me! Scourge Bone Chimes, obviously gonna be sold in the potion for the DK. Happy is very, 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 very close to level 4. But I prefer the look of this Fiend army right here. The first heal scroll for Happy is gonna be extremely important to keep the ghouls healthy. Oh, one ghoul for free. Oh, the sentry here also wonderful. One to zero sees exactly what's happening. Catches a destroyer. Or statue rather. Forced into a destroyer. Focus fire on the Naga right away. But look at her. She's got plus 11 strength and an invul potion. Happy perhaps again over committing to the Naga. Now we're going towards the fiends. The ghouls are quickly getting taken out. That's the way it's supposed to be, of course. Lightning follow up. This Naga is working out amazingly. Behind this, there's an expansion coming for the Chinese. Happy in trouble. In real trouble. Happy loses the fight down by 10 supply, basically. And this Naga, you know, she's got some weaknesses in uh, the early game slash mid game but in the late game for this first big fight against the ghouls with nova and fork lightning you can deal with them so quickly and then move on to the fiends and that cold arrow is also very good this naga a brilliant choice one to zero on his way to victory here it seems like takes out a destroyer as well but happy is finding some return kills he's got a lot of mana sustain right now with his level two dark ritual Naga's taking some more damage, but he still got that Imbo Potion. I love that he kept all the gauntlets, put them on the Naga. I criticized 1 to 0 for item distribution before, this time he's doing it perfectly. Oh, and the Lich almost went down. Oof. TP last second saves him. If there's another Nova, Lich could be dead, but there was a potion, I believe. And now the expansion is mining, and 1 to 0 again in a winning position. Oh, Lich. Ooh. Goes down. 1 2 0. Making a mistake there at the tail end. Should have transferred the TP. He's going to try to go for the tavern res. 1 2 0. About to hit triple level ups, by the way. All three heroes close to a level up. Oh, focus on the DK. He doesn't have any rings. He's pretty squishy. Oof, oh my god. But Happy's Fiend count pretty low now. He's only got two left. Rust Armor again. It helps a bit. But one to zero is going to have to TP out. A player's forces are under attack. Expansion not quite fully mining yet. This one Acolyte is uh, taking a chill pill. And Happy can creep now the rest in the north perhaps. If he gets the red camp... This would be a big upgrade for him as well, potentially. Game is not over yet, but 1 to 0 has a big lead. Especially if he's given some more time.
happy. About to get level 3 Dark Ranger. This is a big one as well. In Fiend Battles. And with level 2 Dark Ritual. Not to forget. It's gonna be a ton of sustain. What's the invo count saying? One invo still on the Naga. And the invo on the Lich. One of those are just gonna level 4 on the DK. And the Lich and the Naga about to level up as well. One to zero looking to be in a very favorable position. Oh, and the destroyer gets caught! Happy! His concentration slips. And that's the double level up. Oh boy. It was nighttime there still for a second, so Happy didn't have the best vision range. Has to go for the heal scroll again. Four fiends against five fiends, one destroyer against two destroyers. And more and more production coming in for 1 to 0. 1 0 -oh upgrades on both sides. One free kill on the Fiend right there. Destroyers have been morphed. There's mana on them now. The Concave is looking really good for Happy though. Perhaps not the best position for 1 to 0. Destroyers getting caught. They could be taking a lot of damage right here. Coil comes in. Heal scroll. Perhaps a bit too late. And Happy's gonna tap out. Doesn't take the fight towards the very end. GG and Happy finally gets. Bested. 1 to 0 in the Undead Mirror. Map 1 was a bit of a disaster. But the Naga second works out and Happy finds himself defeated for once in Undead Mirror. Happy drops down to the lower bracket.